Hello, hello. This is Chris Park from Arkham Games. This is just a watching me work video. Um, I already showed in a video uh, that I put out this morning about the new alloy shader framework. And um, there are three ships that I have painted um, the two arcs and the Secret Force of Ninja hideout. That I painted previously in um, Substance Painter and um, then exported one way for the Unity Standard Shader, and I want to move those over to the um, Alloy Shader instead. So let's do that as quickly as we can. Let's see how that goes. All right, so we shall start with the first arc. Arc one. <clears throat> I'm not actually really going to have to do any work in um, Substance Painter itself. You know, I really hate that license 11 days remaining thing. It's 11 days until my license auto renews. Stop harassing me like I'm on some sort of demo. Logarithmic. <laughs> um, this thing should be opening. Why is it not? Click the button. Um, did I move it for some reason? Oh, I did. I moved it. That's why it's yelling at me. It's yelling at me in the log. It's very hard to see. Graveyard, body parts, etc. Yeah, okay. Not stuff to that I'm ready to show. <laughs> um, okay. Arc one, I moved it here. Uh, da, 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 da. So there it is in um, Substance Painter. You were to working, painting, arcs, arc one, output, goodbye, everything. Gonna copy that folder, file. Export textures, 2048 is what I want. In the previous one, I created an alloy emissive. That's what I want here. I'm gonna make sure that it's got that folder, that it does have that folder, good. Export. Oh, this is just, slower in general um possibly because i never opened the uh the other uh texture sets so it's loading half a gig of stuff off disk as it's exporting the log is actually slightly below the, where the screen is visible right now wow um okay go ahead and save that and um Okay, now click this guy here and um, click to the body renderer. Right there we are. Ugh, come on now. Show and explore. Materials. Goodbye, cruel world. All of these. PNGs. This document here. Pull these over. Hello, new things. Click back to Unity. Works on importing these things. Um, on a smaller ship, there would be fewer of these. Um, so there wouldn't be as many, you know, components to it. And um, additionally, um, there wouldn't be, um, they wouldn't be 2048. So takes it a bit extra long to import all this stuff. All right, cool. 
Um, it's this angry glowing white because uh, we don't have a diffuse map defined on these things right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and select them all, alloy, core. Um, they all have an, emiss an emission um, component to them. Arc body, so it starts with six that has the thing, the vents starts with six. This other the engine here, I can't see the numbers because it's too long. Engine vent, uh, six emissive there, fine. Um, So, expanding all this stuff, see what we got. All right, so let's get it looking in the ballpark. And then we've got our normals. That's going to change things dramatically immediately. Hey, normal strength is set at 0 0.2. That's a remnant of way on back. Should be one unless something goes wrong and we decide to reduce it for some reason. Um, all right, so then now, first thing to do, click texture on the specularity. Metallic, illusion, specular, roughness, normal map. Click arc body. Happy with where it's going. Generate this thing. I bet I can do this in under 15 minutes total for the arc, first arc. This might be a 15 minute per job at the moment. And that's because I'm doing both blues and synths part of it at the moment. Um, and I'm redoing something I just redid. <laughs> packing, packing, packing. All right. Very yellow. Interesting. Okay, so now that we have all these things in here, we can go, wow, those are strong normal maps because uh, we can see um, the effect that the metallicness and stuff have. So downing that a bit is probably not the worst thing. Um, all the way to 0 0.2 seems excessive, but um, it's always a judgment call. And remembering, of course, we're going to be seeing this from a little further away normally. And so having a bit more of a normal map makes it catch the light differently, which is nice. All right, cool. So one through four, delete. Um, now we are up to the vent. I don't remember which vent this is. One of these. I think it's the top one let's see if i'm right yeah okay now i'm going to guess that whatever made sense for the body here is going to make sense for the vents so um uh. Which of these is the right thing? These ones are. No, they're not. Okay. Alloy core. Alloy core. Oh, I can't multi edit these, apparently. Their editor is one that says, nope, no multi editing. All right. Um, all right. So this is going to be a good first guess, anyway. Um, 
obviously this is very dark and dull right now. So let's get our engine vent normal map in there. Metallic, occlusion, specular, roughness, click engine vent, click generate. Um, so the interesting thing about um, occlusion, as you can probably guess from looking at it there, um, this is baked occlusion. This is baked object occlusion, and it's not vertex based. So it's nice because it's uh, based on the UV maps. So basically the texture space, and um, it keeps track of where all the little nooks and crannies are. And that actually uh, interacts a little bit with the global illumination or the the um, well, it does interact with the global illumination, but what I meant was with the emissive textures in Substance, where, um, you know, um, if it's bright coming out of there, um, then it's, you know, not trying to darken it at the same time with that, uh, with the occlusion, which is nice. Um, wow, that really made next to no difference, mainly because this thing is in such shadow at the moment. So let's take it and let's turn it. Come into the light. Let me see you. You are dark. What's going on? Um, well, for one thing, that's just, oh, well, no. Boy, the emissive and the diffuse are basically the same. So that's the diffuse. There's no way that's correct. There's no way that's correct. How'd that happen? I messed this up. What's going on here? Engine vent. I probably assigned it wrong. Yep. Sure did. Look at that. All right. So uh, under my project textures here, we've got engine vent here. There we go. Make sure the vents here are correct. Yep, they are. Okay. So we're going to save that. And thing is oddly bright. I don't really care. I'll deal with that in Unity, I think. Maybe I won't. These two things are not present on the top engine vent here. For some reason. So I'm going to paste these in. And of course, now they're too high. Come on down here underneath. Boy, I just really made a mess of this originally. Uh, without even noticing, I uh, completely bungled that. Okay, now that looks consistent. Yeah, that's not something I can fix in Unity. Well, nice to have some quality control. <laughs> Coming back around and checking here. All right, so export textures. I don't need the body, I don't need the vents, I just need the engine vents. Export to the output folder. Okay, and engine vent need the diffuse and i'm going to need going to need going to pull all of it just in case i was thinking i might not need the diffuse or the emissive and it's possible that i wouldn't even need the <clears throat> the uh roughness <laughs> the normal the normal possible i wouldn't need the normal but um 
in thinking about it more, there's no way I don't need the normal because uh, the roughness um, things that were part of the height field and all that are getting pulled in here. So, um, all right, we're going to turn this back to the way that it was by just hitting revert. Okay, seriously. Maybe we're not uh, zero. We'll do that then. All right, now. What's up here? Engine vent. Nice to see you. Now, metallic there. Yep, good. Um, occlusion there, good. Yep. Specular, sure. Roughness, sure. Normal, sure. Okay. Engine vent. Let's regenerate this again. Really? That was it? That doesn't seem right. There's no way that's right. What's going on here? Ah, uh, something's fishy. Okay, so what I'm going to do. Closed material map packer. So much for 15 minutes on this. All right. Metallic. Occlusion. Specular. Roughness. Normal. Click the thing. Generate. Generate. Okay, seriously, it updated it that fast? How did it do that? It must have done that when it was importing everything. Because I had the window open? What? That's really cool, if that is what happened. Why isn't this more blue, though? We got the vents. We got the body. All right, well, let's try these other vents and see how they look by comparison, and we'll go from there. Oops, not those vents. These vents. Um, not get excited about the fact that those look different right now because the, the whole PBR process uh makes a big difference so we shall see what we shall see put the normal in put that to texture <clears throat> metallic occlusion specular roughness click vents hit generate reminds me of declensions in latin <laughs> blah 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 cannot believe i don't remember more latin than this at the 18 minute mark, um, it's not too bad for having caught an oversight like that. You know, the uh, actual color of the diffuse maps pretty different um between these things like one is very yellowish i mean this would fit with that if that's what's going on um yeah so i mean this comes out darker um no it doesn't we haven't applied it yet no idea what it came out vents 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 there we go vents alloy pm drag that in and Wow, that is very different. The texturing and so forth is pretty consistent. The spatter and so forth there is reasonably consistent. So what's going on? Well, we can get rid of this two through four for one thing 
one through four. One through four goes away. Do I have the emissive set? Yes, I do. Good. <clears throat> um, engine vent there. Engine vent there. Those aren't different. Those aren't as different as I was thinking. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, Hmm. Maybe I'm missing gloss reflections. No. What the heck? Something's real different here. Um, let's look at this. This one's coming out really yellow. And so is the arc body. This one's coming out real. It's the specular, I bet. Or the metallic. Why is the metallic bright, bright white? It's not completely metallic, I don't believe. Not sure what would create the yellow versus green RG. Too much G, which would be. I think the second thing, too much occlusion? No. All right, let's play with this a little bit. Down the metallic? No. So maybe not enough metallic. Specularity? Nah. Roughness? Nope. Occlusion? Nope. So it's just off. Well, Look away, kids. I'm going to fudge it. Oh, the humanity. No one will ever know who doesn't watch this video. This is the next scandal to rock gaming. <clears throat> yeah, all right, cool. Well, voila. Things now are updated. And I can delete one through four. Okay, 22 minutes, 53 seconds. Plus some talking at the beginning. So, all right, I'm gonna call it 23 minutes. Let's get started on this one. Work will blah, 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 I agree. You. Egregia, egregious. All right, so I'm getting backwards here. So, um, all right, open the existing project. Yes, I want to change the save on this one. Something just didn't export. Oh, shoot. I probably didn't select the right exporter. I'm betting that's what it was. It may have defaulted back to Unity 5 standard metallic. That may have been what happened instead of going to alloy emissive. Okie doke. Now, um, arcs, arc, rorkle, hydrigarg, um, wrong folder, arc, hydrigarg. Royal tree trunk. Boom, boom. Uh, happiness. I don't think I made many changes in Unity in the standard shader after. This thing was exported. I think I changed the hue a little bit. The backer actually mentioned that he liked the reddish color a little better on the body. So I'll mess with that, um, which I can do just as easily after the fact there. 
Q. Um, you guys go away too. You appear. Um, bunch of test stuff that I was messing with in there. Wrong. Wrong Unity. There we go. Oh, I guess I did the auto cannon mini pod. Man, I got four of these things to do. Did I do the MLRS Guardian 2? I got five? Are you kidding me? I don't think I did the MLRS Guardian. No, I didn't do those. I, I I moved them and put them there for blue. That's what I did. Okay. So select these two things tanks and body and alloy core. And interestingly enough, it lets me edit multiple of them now. Mm -hmm. um, emission, because they both do have that. Body. Emissive mask. There we go. Tanks. Emissive mask. There we go. Body. Diffuse. Tanks. Diffuse tanks, normals, fix now, body, normals, fix now, alloy, channel map packer, put that to texture, metallic, occlusion, specular, roughness, normal. Click the material, generate, get coffee. I'm actually going to need to go downstairs and get some more coffee. Hmm. This is the one thing about the alloy stuff I wish that I could automate more. Now, granted, when we're using smaller maps, you know, great. But um, with the 2048 ones, boy, that's a killer weight. All right. Um. Ooh, so pretty. And the normal strength is one, which is actually correct. Because I adjusted that a lot in the other side. So pretty. Blue did such a good job on making this thing. I'm glad I got to contribute some to it as well, but boy, what a cool design. And we wait. Reminded of that Dobert where uh, he says that he's He's like playing around in the office and the boss is like, hey, you know, you're slacking off. And Dilbert's like, oh, no, my code's compiling. So he's probably C++ or something older even as in the 90s that this comic came out. The boss is like, oh, all right, well, carry on then. And then goes away and thinks, I wonder if my code ever compiles. <laughs> uh, I think artists, um, 3D artists anyway, the ones now with the the good excuse because code compiling it's never quite like this anymore thank goodness boom all right one through four one through four not not one through five two through five whatever Zero five six after we're done. Good. Good, good. Now the backer mentioned that he wanted potentially 
body to be a little bit redder. You like that look? So let's do it. How's this? Mr. Backer, I know your real name. I don't know which your form handle is, if you actually have a form handle. So I'm not going to use your real name. Um, because I didn't get your permission to do that. So, um, it's Bob, Bob Johnson. Sorry. No, just kidding. Okay. Things are looking pretty good. Um, interestingly, the mission is a little on the tame side. What is this? The tanks, though? That's the body. Yeah. The mission there. Oh, I did that on purpose. I spent a while doing that on purpose. All right. 30 minutes in one second. So I did this in under 10 minutes. Hooray. Arkin. Save all assets. Because Unity can't be trusted. All right. Now, my last trick of the day. We've got our Special Forces Ninja Outpost thing. That's the technical term. Special Forces Ninja Hideout. And that is at 1024. So we'll see the difference in speed pretty dramatically. Alrighty. So. <clears throat> Nobody bags. Yes, Special Forces Ninja Hideout. Sure, I'll save my changes to the rock roll of Ikaigu. I'll never say it properly. It's just I'm giving up. Okay, now we're going to just immediately come in here and hit export textures. No, we don't want it at 2048, the document size. At this point, we want it at 1024. No, we don't Unity standard. Don't want Unity standard um, metallic. Yes, we want alloy emissive. Now we want the location to be. AI building, special forces output, um, special forces hideout, output, boom, boom, bam, boom, select, export. You'll notice just how much faster this goes um, thanks to it uh, being a quarter the size on the actual textures. And it complained about the normal maps not being there. Emissive maps. Dang, I am saying all the wrong words today. Um, anyway, complained about the emissive maps not being there, which is, of course, accurate. There are no emissive maps for the asteroid part itself. Asteroid doesn't have any glowing rocks, although that would be kind of cool. Um, is this the right one? Nope, that's not the right one. That's the right one? Nope, that's the right one. All right, so I think I said, what, 31 minutes? So we're two minutes and a half in on this one. This one should be much quicker because, again, it's a quarter of the size on each individual texture. And it flips out, of course, which is fine. Standard goes to alloy core instead. Uh, this one gets emissive. The other one does not. Emissive mask right there, bing. Normals, fix now. Actually cranked the normals up on this one before. Wonder if that'll still be needed. Diffuse, base color. And obviously this looks cruddy right now because we don't have our PBR bits in. Uh, real-time GI, sure. I don't know. Put on real-time GI. Yes, we've got instancing on all this. Bring our material map back over. Normals for the meteor. No, not diffuse. One, metallic. Two, occlusion. Three, specular. Four, roughness. Five, click the meteor. Six, hit generate. Seven, get coffee. 
Ah, oh, my coffee cup's empty. That will be my reward for finishing this, is I will get coffee. Five minutes, I'm hoping. Let's see if I can do it in five minutes. So, green. All righty. Looking pretty good. Man, that looks good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, look how it catches the light, everything. Happy Chris. Okay. One through four, get deleted. No stay of justice for them. All right, drag the normal map in, then Dalek, occlusion, specular, roughness. Click the material, hit generate, wait. No time for coffee, even if I had it. Something about the materials here just makes me think Star Wars now. Probably not allowed to say that. I don't know. <laughs> Nobody cares. But it makes me happy. Hey, look at that. All right. One through four, get deleted. And I can take a look at this. I think the normals being overly strong is something I'm fine with still. This definitely looks better than it did. A little closer to what we were seeing in Substance Painter with the understanding, of course, that's being translated, not exactly moved. <clears throat> and we're done. Hey, that was fast. That was like four minutes and some odd. It's amazing, um, number one, how practice, and number two, how um, lack of um, uh, the, hat, the quarter size textures makes a big difference. So, all right, thanks for watching.